Oh, hello. You must be here for the fresh helping of Stinky Rim Rim. I need to think about these intros a bit more before I open my damn mouth. We, we have toxic fallout. That's where I was going with that one. And it may or may not be related to the fact that in yesterday's episode, we built a nuclear bomb, which I am safely storing in the prison. It's about sending a message. We are at the beginning of Toxic Fallout, a nuclear catastrophe which could last a very, very, very long time. 13 hours so far. But luckily enough for our colonists, they have this claustrophobic industrial nightmare to spend all their days inside of. I, I, well, I mean, I say that. The outside isn't much nicer, is it? There's no wonder they're all in a horrible, horrible mood. Actually, that's probably a very convenient point to segue into today's, uh, th today's change. A nice idea that someone in the comments came up with that I'm going to steal and then pretend I came up with it myself. Terraforming. We live in a society. No, we live in a mechanoid intrusion, which isn't a particularly nice biome, as you might have noticed. It's full of these horrible giant exposed metal pipes and stinky metallic soil and giant tiles everywhere. It's a very, very, very ugly biome. There's nothing really redeeming about it except for the... Infinite resources, that's quite nice. <laughs> Somebody asked, why not try and terraform things? Why not make this a nicer place for our people to live? They're going to be here in the middle of this war for a long, long time. We've got a lot of technology to explore. We've got a lot of mechanoids to defeat. This could be quite a slow burn. So let's make it a nicer place for them. So now, somewhere in this very fancy research tree should be the ability to get ourselves garden soil. And we can just dig up soil from the floor, wherever there is soil. So there's a little bit here and there. We can take that soil, layer it elsewhere, all over these pipes, cover them up. And then after that, we have another research for proper terraforming. You know, not like the other terraforming mods I've used before, where you just... You know, you put down water and then all oh, suddenly there's magically water. This one actually has different types of machines that will turn one terrain into another. So like you have uh, moisture pumps that will turn crap terrain very, very, very slowly into usable terrain. Those will be the same thing. So this will turn soil into grassy soil or rich soil or fertile soil or whatever. You take stony soil, turn it into better soil. And that's what we need. So that's what we are going to try and aim for alongside everything else alongside everything the first thing i'm gonna do is get more sunglasses because obviously i'm not a monster we need to be very careful today about making sure that we're clapping these mechanoid cheeksies like the little dirty monsters they are oh. <laughs> if they do upgrade we can clap them and put them back down to their lower form i'd rather they just didn't upgrade at all because things are going to be a little bit more difficult from from here on out, because we've got actual defenses, right? The game's going to send us difficulty based on what we've got, because of one of the mods in the pack, rather than, you know, the buildings we've built. Because we've actually got defenses and security now, and new weapons and armor. We're probably going to get clapped pretty fast, so we're going to have to be a bit more careful. Someone in the comments... No, I mean, I came up with this really good idea, right? Where's... Are we missing someone? No, I'm going... I'm actually going insane. <laughs> <laughs> what what just happened? I was about to say, where's Grigna? What? What? Help! <laughs> Call an ambulance! What? I'm, I just I looked at the colors, bro, and I was like, hang on, I thought we were playing medieval. What the fuck just happened? Oh, God. Anyway, <laughs> moving past that kind of horrifying realization. Uh, somebody pointed out that this ability here, the Shrine Shield, is effectively shield generators. But for... Uh, now, look. I don't want to do any other side cast. We did that last series, okay? I've got plans for it in future series. We're not going through every bloody tree this time. As fun and as interesting and as well-designed as they are, no. Okay? Get that, get that out of your goddamn mind right now. But... <laughs> but we are going to have a look at this one here. Somebody said, it's a fair point, and it is kind of on brand, that you can make shields to stop bullets. Because in The Matrix, I don't know if you've seen The Matrix, it's a popular film, you might have heard of it. They do stop bullets. Uh, Neo stops bullets with his hands. It's kind of similar in that we can throw down nature shrines, which are nowhere to be seen. These things here, you know how you build nature shrines out of solid steel? We can put those down, and then... Uh, uh, and then King Snitch can blast it with his magic blaster, and then those will become, effectively, shield generators. That could be really important when we're up against pretty powerful long-range mechanoids when all we've got are pistols and chainsaw hands. Well, I mean, and nuclear weapons, but we need to build mortars. We need to build <laughs> very heavily damaged nuclear warheads just sitting around, really. We're out of deep chem. Shit. Uh, hey, somebody get to drilling here. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. You haven't got that mod installed. There's no RJW this time around, and there never will be. I need you to accept that. I've, I genuinely... I'm not even, I'm not joking here. This is 100% serious. That has genuinely frazzled me a little bit. 
I feel like I need immediate medical help. Like, my mind was just in a completely different... That's so weird. I was just looking at the comments bar, and I was like, where is Grigna? And I'm... I've gone mad. I've gone completely mad. What's happened? I've got, like, some sort of disease right now, to be fair. I've got some sort of horrifying flu-based thing. To bed at midnight, I didn't wake up till 3 p.m. I've, I've, like, I'm serious. I've gone, I've gone insane. I've lost my, wow, there's plenty of deep cam, huh? I'm sorry, but the employee staff room is being co-opted. <laughs> Mate, someone can move that sofa. We're all Gregna. You ever think about that? What if, what if we're all Gregna? What if, what if, what if he's just inside us all? Not in that way. Maybe in that way. God damn. We need to, we need some better power solution. You know what we do have? No, we don't. I didn't research it. What's a nuclear reactor do? I mean, I know what it does. Wow. I need to, I need to lie down. I'm coming back. See you later. All right. I've taken my brain medicine. I'm ready for a cold, hard rim. I, I just want to made tea. I'll be honest. <laughs> Maybe, 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 maybe this is a better idea. Maybe instead we build a wall across the actual like entrance to the kill box, like here, and then we hollow all of this out, every last piece, and we turn it into a massive mech bay. Ooh! Oh, hang on, we can just build shield generators. God damn it! <laughs> all that crap about King Snitch. Never mind. Mechanoid bench. Build a workbench that can craft advanced equipment using components taken from mechanoids. Instead, we strip them for parts and we wear them on our head. That's way cooler. Oh, well, here it is. The first of the potentially harder raids. What are we looking at? Oh, that's not too bad. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's just a few mechanoids. Don't worry. Oh, no. That's a lot more than a few. <laughs> Shit. That is a lot of mechanoids. Um, hop in these mechs for me. Now is a good time to do it. Let's get you in that one. General Payne. General Payne is a mech. So let's double down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're all crawlers. There is a centipede. Holy shit. Okay, maybe we've bitten off a lot more than we could chew here. Wow, this is like uptick pretty high. A zealot. Hello there. Active camouflage, which lands a reposition. Either. Okay, so we've got to be careful of that guy who could go invisible, I presume. We've got a lot of vultures. Holy shit. Okay. Larry. Larry, what the hell have you done? Larry gets the blame for this one. I don't care what you say. Get on the machine gun. You get on that one. Uh, You can just come and get behind the walls. Oh, I don't know if these gorse rifle are right for this. Uh, let's let's pick targets with Larry carefully. What the hell is even? That's one of those art rifles, right? Lights them on fire. Okay, let's be careful. Are we ready in the mechs? Oh, look at him. He looks exactly like an enemy from Gunstar Heroes. <laughs> what? What do you mean you weren't alive in the nineties? I don't know what the hell a Fortnite dance is. Okay, this is looking good. What a lineup, huh? Oh, careful. I wonder if they're more susceptible to EMPs and things like that when they are. Why is it so loud today? What's going on? I wonder if they're more susceptible to EMPs and things like that when they are in... Oh, Jesus, their shields are powerful. Please kill it. Wow, those things are tanky. Let's be more careful about that. You can run and hide for a second. Where did that bloody centipede go? It's taking... Oh, my wind turbine. What is that you've got there? Heavy needler. A large crystalline weapon system by shearing massive crystals into shards. Be careful, is, is what you're saying. Okay, uh, chainsaw hands. Let's just take this a little bit more carefully. By which I mean we're going to leap in. And try and kill it before it smashes the damn wind turbine. Get in there. Get within melee range. Go. The bladed killer of struggle is here. And her name? Chainsaw hands. Sweep the legs. <laughs> Will that work on a centipede? To be fair, they got a lot of legs to sweep. Did she just goddamn RKO a <laughs> centipede? <laughs> She just body slammed a five ton mechanoid. Oh, that's the best thing I've ever seen. You are an incredible. Right, okay, let's send the mechs out. Let's, send, let's not celebrate quite yet. Send the mechs out to go deal with the last few. Let's try and get as much. Oh, there's a guy there. Okay, let's try and get as much salvage as possible. If we put you there, but it, it, it's some cover. Honestly, at this point, we should just get within its minimum range. There you go, problem solved. Okay, now you want to run away. Oh, shit. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. That's going to be a big explosion. All right, maybe back off even further. Oh, the anima tree. I knew that was going to happen. I called that yesterday. Am I going mad or is it just a lot louder today? I mean, I know I'm going mad. We've already been over this. Excellent. Nice work. Now we'll carefully take you out and see if we can... What does this do? Can we... 
Some brave humans steal these for their own use as defensive bombs. Oh. You're right. Brave or stupid. Yesterday I had someone carry a nuke and drop it outside a mech ship. So I think we're, uh... That's the thing where he's like, I'm going to give the Covenant back their bomb. I've, I know Halo. You see, I, you thought I didn't know it, but I do. Now imagine that, except it's just chainsaw hands shrieking as she leaps out of a spaceship. <laughs> uh, let's take it all apart then. Unstable power cells. Honestly, if we just pull it in the mountain deep, I think that could be quite handy. I just want to take the others. I, I'm going to take that one apart. I feel like that might be a little bit too dangerous to keep hanging around, but that could be really good. So if we just take that and like recess it right back into the mountain somewhere where it's not going to really harm us too much, like really throw it this far back. We've got to make sure we de mech our people as well, otherwise they will constantly complain about recreation and rest and all those other things. And funnily enough, it's not very comfortable trying to sleep in a gigantic mech. General Payne, get over here. Oh god, Chainsaw Hands is pulling a suit. I mean, that plus the Stellark helmet really is a look. Mechanoid bench is done. Factory basics. That could not have come at a better time. Oh, but I like the Vanometric generator. Oh, this is such a hard choice. We don't need any extra power right now. I think we've kind of broken even with it all now that we've got this back online. Oh, minus 1,200. Yeah, about that. All right, fine. I will do the sensible option, and it'll hurt me deep in my soul. We also have Rotten. Rotten is from Mechhive. Me What's happening? Mechive Ratus. Hello. Are you any good? It said you're an inventor. You're not going to invent shit with skills like that. How about you invent yourself a life support machine? Because you're going to need one in about 11 hours, pal. Stay there. Boil and die. Actually, what have you got? No, you could boil and die. <laughs> ah, no, you know what? I will steal the clothes off of a dead man. I don't want the clothes. I just want you to die naked. Oh, God. Are we just refilling that nonstop? Oh, apparently so. General Payne has got a real taste for it. Oh, the man cannot be content. How much? Sorry, how much yellow cake uranium have we made at this point? Wh where have you put it? It's probably a better question. Split uranium. Okay, cool. One enriched uranium. What? Did, where did you put that? He split some more up. But I'm not sure what he did with it. Well, I'm sure that's not important. Oh, it's there. It's there. It's okay. Well, we've got two lots of it. Oh shit. Now chainsaw hands has been pretty untouchable so far, right? She's been absolutely indestructible. We haven't really been playing that long, and our armor is almost broken. A legendary set of prestige cataphract armor, which has, of course, contributed massively to her psi powers, her combat abilities, is down to 12% already. She just went from being untouchable to very, very touchable. Although I wouldn't recommend it. She's got chainsaw hands. Got more expertise. Now, somebody in the comments said that you can get extra levels of expertise on top of what you've already got. Expert in deep drill. Actually, I like the sound of that one already. Digging up ore and finding more of it. Mining yield, 5%. This one is deep drilling, 5%. Tunneling, mining speed, 5%. Just in general, or uh, specifically mining rocks, I would presume. And then geology is rock chunk chance, 5%. That sounds just horrible. Why would you ever take that? Uh, we'll take the deep drilling speed. Now, somebody said you could potentially level that up again again or just take another oh so you can pick a different right okay i think I, I think i see what they mean that if you level up another skill they're interested in oh it gives them a whole new skill that's really cool how did i not notice that before oh yeah no that's really cool so, so does that start leveling up in lieu of construction instead right gotcha construction speed 50 percent. so every regular construction level they would get is deferred to building, which applies that same bonus again. And that explains why we've got 50%. Gotcha. I understand. I completely get how it works now. Sorry, just to clarify, because I said that in the most confusing way possible. Next time, I, I presume this is how it works, just based on what we're looking at here. Next time, Larry would level up mining, it would instead go into drilling, and he would go from deep drilling speed 10% to 15%. Right? And then at level 3, it would be 20%, level 4, etc, etc, etc. What have you got for me, Mechanoid Bench? Ooh! Oh, that's kind of scary. Does Mental Mechanoid gives us Mechanoid components? Or, oh, wait, Mecha components? Or we can turn Mech our components into Mechanoid components? Oh, this is gonna get confusing. <laughs> okay, so let's just dismantle regular Mechanoid. Let's stop with the shredding. I presume we've got to do a little more research then to actually get the weapons and armor that we make out of the mechanoids. That seems good. Fight the mechanoids with mechanoids that we wear rather than have in mech suits. <laughs> it just mechs all the way down. We're never going to run out of resources. This mountain is solid steel. It's amazing. Vanometric generator. Now we hope that the generator isn't as unstable as what is that? Build a glitter world analyzer and produce glitter world fragments? Okay. 
I mean, that sounds good. This, this would be quite nice if we can take it from, like, this really heavy industrial type base into a bit more of a uh, squeaky clean glitter tech base. That'd be pretty good. That's quite a long-term play, though. From all these grungy, like, real heavy industry mech suits to the to the really slick ones that eventually be able to unlock. This would be, this would be quite a nice theme. What did we get? I've already forgotten. Uh, something. Uh, uh, generator. It was a generator. Vanometric generator. There you go. Um, but, I mean, shit. Yeah, I'll throw it in the middle of the room. Yeah, why not? Oh, shit. I spotted General Payne out the corner of my eye working on yet another nuke. <laughs> yeah, I thought you could sneak that one by me, huh? I did limit it to four, to be fair, so this will be the last one that he turns out. All right, fine. I'll let you have your damn nuke. Attending a party? Oh, you think we've got time for partying? What, you think the mechanoids are partying? Make me sick, you pieces of shit. Not you, Larry. You're too precious. You're precious, Larry. Oh! You're not so precious, Larry. Larry, stand down. Sweep the legs. Clap him. Clap those cheeks. Discombobulate. Larry, stand down. Sweep the legs. Social fight's ended. Uh, social fight is ended. <laughs> you gotta discipline your troops. Let's just slow down a second. Because we've got a lot of half-finished projects here. We've got like the start of the mech bench. We've got a little bit of glitter net. We've got some of the nuclear stuff. Instead, I think we'll... Let's finish the mech bay first. There we go. That's a lot better. We'll reorganize it. Obviously, we've got to build a couple more as well at some stage. How many people we got now? Eight. Let's throw down a couple more mechs. Yeah. Yeah, no, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that one. We need to get some better guns. Giant mech suit coupled with revolver feels a bit weird. Incendiary launches. We've got some crap. We apparently found a plasma pistol. Must have grabbed one of those from the mechanoids, but surely there's got to be something better we can craft at this point. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. I've had General Payne. Uh, oh my god, look at him. He's just suited up. Holy crap. I actually kind of like General Payne in the white suit. I might just keep him like that. That looks amazing. I've had General Payne making rain shield belts, mini turret packs, and flag vests for everybody instead of, you know, nuclear bombs. There are these, I think, are a bit more practical. We just need some, like, good guns now, and then we're, then we're, then we're pretty alright. I think we're at a good level at that stage. So I guess we'll take Safety standards, sure, why not? We've got any sort of mounted turrets, even that would do for the time being. We've got nothing. We've got a lot of defense, but no offense. Now that that's basically done, I'm happy to move on to the next project. Now, I wanted to look at the... I wanted to look at that Scarlet stuff, which is effectively a form of... Uh, it's basically a form of Luciferium. I think you can actually use it to make Luciferium. So I think we need Scarlet Collectors. That will collect the Mechanites from the air. That turns it into Scarlet Sludge. And then that we can refine into various... Oh, hello. Various useful stuff. Oh. <gasps> Wowee. Holy shit. Wow. Um, that's a bit more useful. King Snitch, there you go. That's a hell of an upgrade. There is a button to recycle it using our uh, scrapper roll, which will give us a mood for breaking it down to some advanced tech. Honestly, I think right now, I kind of prefer the firepower. Oh, shit. Chainsaw hands put on General Payne's armor. These two have just been like, honestly, the whole squad has just been perfect on the style front. Sure, we haven't got any guns to defend ourselves, but they look amazing. Oh, shit. Atmosphere Scarlet collecting. Collect Scarlet particles from the far atmosphere. Absolutely. I think what we need to do is build a giant room for this. So, <laughs> what do you think? Maybe attach it onto... Oh, man, I don't even know. It's, it's going to be more industrial stuff. Maybe you could build a room out here. It seems like we've, we've kind of wasted a lot of space over here that we're not doing much with. We probably have to build them outside, given that they collect particles from the air, but the, at least we could put a wall around it just in case we get mechanos dropping in or something like that. Oh, that's going to be expensive. We have to bridge over every single one of these pipes. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's not as if we're lacking steel, right? You know what? We do need more uranium. Or more specifically, maybe I should stop... I should stop them using the Calatron. I mean, we're using that to split the uranium into yellow cake and then depleted uranium that we're then turning into nukes, which we're then just keeping in the prison for a laugh. We really don't need that. And I think that's also what we need to make. Yeah, that's also what we need to make more of the mech suits because we've only got six right now. Let's see if we've got... Actually, you know what? Let's just retune these. Let's go uranium and uranium. Do we have any just out there in the world? Deep drills, deep drills, deep drills. If only there was a search button, huh? Um, <laughs> what have we got here? Oh, steel. That's helpful. More steel. Uranium, but it's bloody miles away. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, uranium. That'll do. Hey, perfect. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, well, that's either fantastic or terrible. Quickly to the mechs. This is, our, this is our red alert situation. We've got mechs right on the bedroom. They were trying to assassinate us in our sleep. Oh, look at our squad. Look at this squad. Get in your mechs right now. Yes. 
We'll show those mechanoids we need business. Look at this. Oh, that's a lot of fiery boys in one small bedroom. A wild woman wanders in. I'll worry about that in a second. Hello. Mech versus mech. We've got so many mech, I can't really tell what's going on anymore. Um, here's the plan. Let's get three of you over here, because a lot of those guys are very explosive. Uh, let's get two of you over there. Chainsaw hands, crack the door, and then leg it. She's got the Arcotech leg, so legging it is a is a modus operandi. That's it, that's it. Bait them over. Bait them over. No, 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 no. Open that door. Come on. They'll trash the bedroom. Then they'll walk away. Oh, we can rebuild the bedroom. That's no problem at all. It's just it's just steel, right? That's exactly what we're after. Kill them all. Oh, Jesus. Be careful with those gorse rifles. My God. Uh, maybe this was a horrible idea in hindsight. Hang on. Let's move you forward. Uh, let's move you forward. Yes. Careful. They are still scythers after all, and we have no headgear whatsoever. So just be careful. For the fiery boys. Let's just let's just thread a shot through the wall. Go. Come on. Come on. Nice. There you go. Nice. One more. I can't believe they landed right in the bedroom. Look at how much damage they've done. God damn mechanoids. This is a complete mess. What if that happens, but like in the in this room? Well, then we're doomed. Then that would be a, a much larger explosion. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Right, get out of your damn mechs. We've got work to do now. Oh, I, I like this mech bait. Oh, God, everybody's falling asleep on the floor. Right, yeah, no, that would that would make a lot of sense in hindsight. Okay, well, let's turn on auto rebuild because I get the feeling. I mean, that's not the first mech raid that we've had landing right on the base, and it almost certainly won't be the last. Oh, we can build sleep accelerators now. Oh, man. Okay, Uh, in that case, let's change the barracks slightly because that could be really, really useful when we've got to keep an army on its toes. Pretty much around the clock. Let's completely redo this bedroom. Okay, this is Sweaty Wormhole, but I think the ancient operating table might be better because it has a 10% bonus to bed rest rate, but it's slightly less comfortable. So let's go for it. And it gives the immunity gain speed, etc, etc. So if they do decide to lie in bed for whatever reason, this is better. The only problem is it costs more components, but when the entire planet is made of steel, I don't really think that's a big deal. Sure. Sure, let's, this is what people are sleeping on now. Big old operating tables. Why the hell not? I suppose the question is, can sleep accelerators actually connect up to it? Let's test it with chainsaw hands before we commit. They should be able to, because it's just a hospital bed, right? Can we get it cut to connect to two simultaneously? Otherwise, it's going to cost us... Uh, this single bedroom is going to cost us hundreds of components. Okay, and then sleep accelerator. Nope, it's one at a time. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Atmosphere Scarlet collecting. There we go. That'll be probably for tomorrow at this stage, given that we've taken ages. Garden soil. We can start the terraforming. Now, apparently, the way this works is with one of the, the alpha biomes, like we are on right now, the, the mechanoid intrusion, it'll just give us soil that is close to the fertility of what we've got. So, 45% soil on crap metal. So, I think that'll just give us stony soil instead. So... We can layer that over the pipes, I hope. We could build bridges and maybe layer it over that instead. And then eventually throw down those terraforming devices when we get the research and then turn it into a paradise. A horrible, horrible, mechanoid-filled, smoke-polluted paradise. Only Arco-Tetanus can build. Oh, shit. So that's on uh, Sachiko, then, because we haven't converted them yet. Ah, okay. Well, let's keep you around for as long as possible. Can you even build them? Do you have the... Oh, you don't even have the skill. They would be really, really nice to get, but we just can't do it normally. Um, I think in that case, keeping Sachiko on board as the uh, as the Arco Technist character, as someone who has access to that technology, because there isn't a specific research for sleep accelerators, right? It's just all microelectronics. Let's keep you on board. Let's train up your construction skill and have you churn that out for us, because that could be massive in a colony where we've always got to be alert. We could be raided at any time. You never know. Maybe half a dozen mechanoids drop right on your head as you're sleeping. Oh! For God's sake, every time we destroy one, two more pop up. Oh, wow, that's a lot now, isn't it? Um, mortars would be really good. Then we could just launch chainsaw hands over with the nukes and, and take them out one at a time. Garden soil. There's the start of terraforming. Solar panels, utility class shades. I swear we keep starting to research these and they never finish. I'm not entirely sure what keeps happening with that. Maybe there are just that many shades. Maybe I, maybe I should really start work on crafting those, actually, now that I think about it. What do we need? Machining table, right? Um, maybe fabrication bench? Oh, here we are. So it was just advanced components, gold and plasteel. We, we haven't got a reliable way to keep getting gold and plasteel yet. Of course, we're going to scan it underground. So let's make these count. Move speed, shooting accuracy, aiming time, social impact. Those are really good. Lenses give melee avoid chance 50%. Wow. 
So for chainsaw hands, those could be pretty good. Shooting accuracy minus three, but minus 30% of the aiming time. Let's finish this other research first and then see if... See if there's just a kind of general multi-class shades. I don't mind giving everybody their own their own brand of sunglasses. That seems fine. Oh, construction skill required at eight. Oh, God. And you've got construction skill of 3.02. Um, we, we could... This is like nuts. We could make Sachiko the high priest and then convert over like chainsaw hands. Maybe we could see it as Sachiko teaching Chainsaw Hands how this works, how the technology of this planet works, because obviously they were native or they were one of the agents. I don't think our people would be too attached to the idea of religion, but it's pretty sweaty just to get sleep accelerators, right? I'll just leave them on, uh, I'll just leave them on repair. We'll get it eventually. It's not like a big urgent thing, right? Superchargers, though. If we throw that, wait, can we even build superchargers at the same, uh, those are just generic, aren't they? Anybody can build those. No, absolutely not. Archaeotechnics, oh shit. So actually, you've got a lot of good tech that we could do with putting the superchargers down next to the mech pods. So they come in here, they get blasted by the supercharger that downloads all that all that combat prowess to their brain, gives them a real boost. Then they get in the pod and they're they're even better. Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna have to keep them around. We'll just we'll just slowly train them up over time. I think that's the best way to go about it. Oh god, legendary work. A legendary table. Well, that's really just amazing. Thank you for that. Can't wait to fight stronger mechanoids just because we have a really fancy dining room table. That's some, that's some premium stuff there, King Snitch. More sunglasses. Perfect. Bioregeneration. What is that? Just bioscopes a pod. Is that another thing that we can only get? Ooh. No, and let's focus on this. Is that another thing we can only get with Archaeotetanus, though? Well, let's see. Sunglasses. Here we are. Suppressor shades. Uh, we looked at before. Medic class shades. Oh. 35% research speed. My god. Wow, they're expensive. Artisan class visors. Construction speed 25%, labor speed 25%, smoothing 50%, and of course they give social impact because they're really cool. I don't know if you noticed that. Let's make one of these for... Well, actually, who are our builders right now? Let's make two. Let's make one for King Snitch, one for Chainsaw Hands. Plus five accuracy, but they are 10% slower when they fire, but you do get the move speed bonus from those as well. I like the idea of just giving those to everybody as kind of the, the, the combat glasses. What about these? Melee avoid chance, 50%. Shooting accuracy, plus three. So you get a lot of accuracy, but no aim loss with that. Okay, uh, I'm going to give, because General Pain also has some melee combat, we're going to give that to General Pain, just a single pair of those. And then I think everybody else can get just the generic aviators. So we need, what, another five copies of those, right? This is another thing that we need Sachiko to be leveled up with. What are you wearing on your head? Why are you wearing that on your head? I'm 99% sure Biosculptopods are just like generic. Anybody can build these, but uh, you know. <laughs> I don't know what the mods have changed in this. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. We can definitely build those. You know what? A comms console, probably a good idea. Uh, in hindsight, yeah, that's not bad because then we can actually trade with some of the passing trade ships rather than, you know, nobody at all. I mean, sure, we could also build a uh, regular plane or boring orbital trade beacon or we throw down a gigantic antenna tower. Which is way cooler. Maybe we put down two, just for the aesthetic, and just to waste a tremendous amount of resources. Oh my god, look at the new sunglasses. This is incredible. <laughs> Style and mechanoid clapping. Don't mind if I do. Look at them. What a squad. This has been, this has been the best look for any series we've ever had. They do look like they're wearing tuxedos because the because the white flak vest below, it looks like they've got a little bow tie going on there. The thing I have noticed, and I'm not entirely sure why this is just now becoming a problem, uh, the base is really, really, really warm. And I think it's this room here, even though I've got seven air conditioning units, I wasn't sure if it was the Vanimetric generator or this, but given that four air conditioning units are keeping that at 22, yet four air conditioning units in here, are, uh, it's still 47. It's got to be this room, right? I don't know why it's suddenly become an issue, given that I haven't really changed anything about that room. What I'm going to do is move all of the, all of the big old uh, chem fuel generators out to here. That will give us much more lab space and like manufacturing space because we pretty much already filled up that room. So maybe we could turn this into a dedicated stockpile. It does seem a bit pointless to have like 2000 watts worth of air conditioning to cool those extra things when we could just take them away, right? There we go. And then if we drain these ones out, is that how that works? Transfer content? There you go. And then we can completely drain those out into the other tanks on the network. Take these ones apart, and then this room, again, we can expand that into uh, more workroom, or we we'll use that for the Scarlet Collectors tomorrow. Ah! Okay. 
Shit, that's not ideal. That's not a good day to be Sachiko. Oh, to the mechs, to the mechs, to the mechs, to the mechs. Okay, okay, get in, get in, get in, get in fast. Oh, we've got a mech for general pain. Holy shit. We still don't have one for chainsaw hands, but that's okay. Right, get in there. Chainsaw hands, hold them off. But in mind, she's way less armored now, so let's be careful about this. Pilot, get in. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, everybody's fine. Get to the front line. We need to set up, like, our second defensive position, don't we? You can do that. I'll have to change the settings in a second. Oh! Well, that's horrible. That's that's really bad. <laughs> um, shit. I mean, the gorse rifles can apparently penetrate through, but that would make sense. They're gorse rifles. That's kind of the point. Uh, chainsaw hands, I've got a job for you, my friend. Dive on in. Kill it dead. Kill it dead. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We're going to have to wait for them to basically get within melee range. Um, pull the mechs back. Just get back, mechs. Get out of there. Get out of there. Larry, back off. There you go. Nice work, chainsaw hands. Kill that one. Boom. One shield down. Holy crap. That's cool. Oh, God. Those things are so tanky. Oh, let's come up to the top here. You're telling me we can't just stand in a straight line and hope for the best anymore? Oh, shit. I didn't even see those. Oh, I'm a fool. I'm a complete fool. Chainsaw hands is down. I, I didn't even see them. I was so distracted with the rest of it. Why are they so tanky? Well, to be fair, we're using, you know, like revolvers. <laughs> is that much of a surprise, huh? Oh, shit. Wow, they've really got us on the on the ropes here. Let's get within the shield generator, then. We might be able to pop the others on the way out. Nice. There you go. There you go. Right in the chemical analyzer. Come and rescue chainsaw hands, for God's sake. General Payne, pick up chainsaw hands. Get her out of there. No, 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 no. no. Uh, don't worry about fighting it. Just pick her up. No, no, no. You seem to be misunderstanding. It's, it's forcing him into combat. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Let's turn off fire at will. See if that will stop it. I mean, this thing will just retaliate and attack him anyway. Come on. No, they're just going to keep fighting. That's okay. Don't worry. She'll be right for a little longer. We've got four hours left. Kill it. Nice. Uh, now get her out of there. Run. Run fast. You're going to be okay, Chainsaw Hands. How's King Snitch doing? One-on-one. -on -one. Mech versus Marshall. That's a cool fight. That is a very cool fight. No! Stop getting distracted with your goddamn knee strikes. I think we need to turn off auto cast as well, don't we? There you go. Okay, get her out of there. Well, the mechs come with a giant melee blade. Sanchiko is incapable of combat. All right, you know what? I should have really had you drag chainsaw hands out of there. That's what we'll do with you in the future then. They're so tanky. They're so powerful. Holy crap. Even though there's only a couple of them, that fight is going on for ages. Two giant machines ripping each other apart. I'm a big fan of that. I like that a lot. Um, right, okay, Dr. Sachiko, if you could get up here in terms of chainsaw hands. Yeah, you know what? Roll up in the mech. That's absolutely fine by me. <laughs> ah, that's just too easy. Well, I'm going to go lie down. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You got so close, Alexian. You got so close, but chainsaw hands can't be killed. Thank you, of course, to the patrons for making this series possible. Tomorrow we'll start on the uh, Scarlet production because that sounds pretty cool and it's very on brand too. Thank you, especially to our executive producer patrons, including Triquatral, Minty Mushrooms, Scourge, Ite, Dr. Bubba, Castle, Taff, Camline, Squinty Chimera, Vim Cola, Squiggly Line, Deathcore Hippie, A Viking, John Carousella, Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan, Ethox, Void Angel, Smirnoff, Urban Cohort, Pang Power, and Magondi as well. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. It's much appreciated. Thank you for joining Chainsaw Hands, who is definitely not dead. <laughs> Although she might never walk again, so, you know, swings around about really. Thank you to Aspara Gus, Emerald Beam, Solus NZ, Bilbo Fraggins, Bodar, Liam Smith, Rave Pirate, Logical Builder, Daniel Gleason, Lilac, Logan, Shane Riley, Yanosh, Lord of Sofa, MCG, MCG, Turkey, Chuckles, Doc Thate, Christopher Bailey, Love, Jordan, 15J, Sandy, Matthew, Owen Powell, Miss Morris, Mittens, the Murder Kitten, Nugsy Bologna, Ominous Pancake, and Xenos, the Painter. We are almost at the end of the August list, so I am going to have to start shouting out more names on a daily basis to make this work at the rate we're going. Thank you, though. It is, of course, as always, much appreciated. Thank you for bearing with me over this past month, especially while I've been ill the last few days. Still ill. Uh, I've had to edit. I I'm, presume I'm going to have to edit so many coughs out of this episode, but never mind. you got to carry on. You don't want to be clapped by the algorithm. Yeah, Susan knocking at your front door if you're not careful. <laughs>